Well, you're lucky I can't talk too long. <laughs> and I want to offer a couple thoughts, and then we'll have the beautiful names of those who've passed, and family or friends will light a candle in their honor. So early in November, in our Catholic way of doing things, we pray for all souls, all through November, really. But why do we do that? Just to cherish the memory of a loved one. Well, people who neither care about heaven or hell or God, people who don't believe at all, they cherish the memory of their loved ones, right? So what's the difference? Well, we just don't call them to mind, but we pray for them too. That's our Catholic part of our job as a baptized person. There's a young Italian woman by the name of Susan Tassone. She just wrote a book for children. It's called Old Friends New and Forever. It's a book about why Catholics pray for our deceased loved ones. It's really about what purgatory is. It's a, it's a time of purgation, of cleansing, of preparing for meeting Christ face to face, the fullness of heaven. It's a gift from God to give people a little time to really get ready for the total joy of being in the presence of heaven. And in her little book that she wrote for children, she talks about this elderly man named Ray. His wife had passed away, and he makes friends with a young couple, Ben and his girlfriend, Hope. And he more or less recruits them to pray with him for his dear wife, who had passed away. And they ask, well, why are we doing this? And he explains it. He says, in our way of believing, we are connected. It's like the most ancient great-granddaddy of being online together. Those who are in heaven, you and I who struggle here day by day, and those who have passed beyond our sight, but need a little nudge, maybe a little prayerful help. And so he tells the young couple, we're, we're pray, praying pals now and forever. That's what it's all about, the month of November, to pray for those who have gone beyond us. Now, what is this purgatory thing? It's part of our Catholic faith. It's not scary. It's not punishment. It's not a waiting room like you're going to see your dentist, you know. No, it's just a, a way, it's a name given to whatever time someone needs to prepare for the awesome joy of the fullness of their salvation, to be in the company of heaven. I always tell the story, it's the only way I understand purgatory. It's the story about the husband and wife, they had their son deployed in the military years ago, and he was listed as missing, and they thought the worst, they'd never see him. Well, the son showed up some months later in his hometown at his parents' front yard. He greeted his father, who was just overwhelmed. And the son said, where's mother? She's in the kitchen, the other end of the house. I'll go there. The father said, no, I'll go tell her. Give her a minute. He goes, tells his wife, the son they thought was lost was on the front porch. And she, she takes off her apron, wipes her hands, combs her hair. She needs a minute to get, get ready. Maybe the most joyful moment of her life. And so they embrace. I said, that's purgatory. It's that time that most people need for a final purging, a cleansing, a preparation for the awesome gift of heaven. Not many people die as perfect people. Only two or three of us, to tell you the truth. <laughs> but most people, even when we take our last breath, most people, you know, aren't perfect. And they just need some time, some space, some spiritual environment as they are helped by those here who are praying for them. That's what it's all about. It's a Catholic way to be online. You know how you're online? You have friends. And then you have likes, you know, 500 people like me and all that. That's what it is. It's a spiritual connection. That's all November's about, praying for all souls.